Okay, Jedi's. So I got the gravel and we were talking about the structure. So we'll, we'll see if um, the mealworms like the gravel section or the meal side. Okay. Um, we talked about how the structures of them being worms and them, um, them having their little legs um, would probably um, best suit them going through the meal. Um, so I'm going to put some food out first just to make it equal. So three pieces on that side, three pieces on this side. pieces. And then we put over there again. And piece on this side. Piece on that side. I did just like grab like gravel from my yard. So there's like a mixture of like there's even like little like leaves and stuff in there. So, all right. So our mealworms are over here. So I'm pulling them in and I'm kind of going to put them just kind of in the middle. Let's see which way they go. I guess I should make it flat. Some of them are actually going over there. Look, that guy's like, I'm out of here. So kind of interesting, a lot of them are going into the crevices. I hope that doesn't kill them. Like a little explorer guy. He's like, well, check this guy out, guys. I am going to make note of something interesting, which is that our beetle, our one beetle dude, was like flipped upside down on this 
piece of potato. So I'm trying to get him off of the potato. But I don't think he's going to do it. So I'm just going to kind of put him upside down right in there. Let's see if that. Okay, there you go. Oh, he likes that. Um, and then we did also get another little pupa. So we have a total so far of, what is that, four? Four little pupa. We already came with one. So let's see how our, our little guys are doing in here. I don't know if you can see the difference between these two. So the, its mouth has now become more formed. And then also it's like little legs. And then like it has these little wings on the back. So I'm pretty sure, and he's darker. This is a new pupa on this side. And this is an older pupa. That guy, oh, he's super wiggly. Did you see that? He's like, don't touch me. This guy right here. Yeah. So you can see kind of his eyes and his little legs. So he's probably going to transition within the next few days. Um, he'll be a full on darkling beetle. So then we'll have two beetles in here, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of interesting that they kind of took to the rocks and stuff pretty fast. Um, some are starting to burrow in there. Um, it'll be interesting to see when we take them out where they are at. And they look pretty hungry, so we'll see how they do. I didn't even see which way the beetle went. They seem pretty strong. They're moving even the, the fruit around. And then this is the old little container that they were in while I was trying to move them around. And you can see there's a ton of like molted skin around. So some of those beetles are new, new, be new, um, new mealworms, bigger mealworms. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these guys away. Looking at the skin is like super, super exciting too, because I think I can see like even their mandibles and things like that. So I'm just gonna do one more check, just to make sure I didn't accidentally leave any in here and throw them away by accident. I mean, literally, they just look at, it looks just like a mealworm, but it's all shed and, what if it's painful? What if it's itchy? I feel like it'll be itchy. Your skin is too tight now, a little too itchy. Okay. Well, what do you think? What is your hypothesis? Which side are they gonna enjoy more? Are they gonna want to be more in the gravel? Or do you think they're gonna prefer the side with the meal? And then I can update the meal too because they've had this for about two weeks now. I can probably clean out the meal and put in there some um, 
some oatmeal and we could try something different.